when we were in college, one of those questions that we tried to ask, answer was not always the most serious of questions. And it centered on whether born-again Christians have two belly buttons. We never got to the answer to that question. Today, we have Jesus speaking to Nicodemus about being born again. What Jesus relates to is being born in the Spirit. But it seems as if the language that Jesus is using and the language of Nicodemus don't seem to meet. So there's that ongoing discussion, that conversion of heart that Nicodemus needs to make, he as yet does not understand. But that language will come. When we turn to the Acts of the Apostles today, we find from the very earliest moments of church that there's that great sense of gathering, of sharing gifts and talents and resources. Indeed, if we move ahead from the Acts of the Apostles to the early life of the church, we have the recordings, the writings of St. Justin Martyr, who even in the third century of church history described the gathering of God's people. This was after the church became Catholic, the Christian church became the prescribed religion of the Roman Empire, that the Catholics gathered in what was the public buildings of that time, the basilicas, we had the encouragement to pray by the president, the past, the presider, or the priest. We had the listening to God's word from the Old Testament, also the New Testament narratives or the gospel. There was the homily, was a key part of the celebration. And then the bringing forth of gifts, and these gifts were used, the bread and wine, but also the offerings that would be used to support the church and to continue the mission and to help and serve the poor. And then the receiving of Holy Communion and the being sent out in God's, in God's mission and the mission of the church. Today we hear of the disciples saying that all that they had was held in common. The Christian community very much shared and supported each other. And that tradition has continued in many and varied ways. And as always, we appreciate the support that you offer us to help us to continue the mission. We see a beautiful sense of community in that Acts of the Apostles that care and concern for each other. We continue that act of care and concern for each other in so many ways today as we stay home and not spread the virus, as we reach out to neighbors, to friends, to those who are vulnerable and offer our help. There are so many ways of serving the Lord, and we are thankful today for those in our community who care for the sick and the needy. As God's people, we ask you, Lord, to help us to continue to understand the language of God, that like Nicodemus, we may have that inner conversion of heart, that openness to the Spirit, that we too may be born again and live the promises of baptism afresh in these Easter days.